welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to talk about how we can go about updating azure ad birthdays and employee hire dates with microsoft graph and powershell all right so one of the biggest hassles for microsoft 365 it admin is updating the birthdays and employee hire dates for the companies for the company colleagues okay so in this in this video we're going to talk about how you can add or revise this dates using PowerShell, PowerShell um, combined with the Microsoft Graph SDK. Now, the collection of Microsoft PowerShell module uh, contains command for calling the graph service. So I'll show you the list of commands that we're gonna use. So these are the list of commands. Okay, so in order to install the Microsoft Graph commandlet, you will need to use this command okay so i already have this installed so i won't be using this okay so uh, we'll be directly starting from connect mg graph so in order to run this command you will need a scope so for the scope uh, i'm using setup permission which is users.read all directory dot read write all and site dot full control dot all all right let's run this command okay it will ask me to sign in there you go so it you have to be an admin of the account tenant let me sign in all right i think we are in there you go once we are signed in uh, we need to put in the user id of the user okay so in this case uh, i'll be updating the higher date of a single employee but in your case, you can just pass in the array of user IDs uh, for the higher date that you would like to change. Like this would be useful in, for example, if you have set of employees which are getting hired on a specific date, let's suppose you have around 20 employees uh, getting hired on the same date, then uh, you can use the script and pass in the array of user IDs into the script one by one and set their higher date accordingly. So you don't have to do that hassle again and again all right so let me just add this for a single employee and then you can update the script according to your needs all right so i think user id is correct there you go now i'm gonna add the parameter so you can also update the but days uh, as well as the higher date i would be updating only the higher date i'll be removing the birthday for the higher date i'm going to change this to 2000 Okay, let's keep this 2009 and paste it. Okay, it looks like uh, the params variable is set. Now we're gonna run the update mg user. And might take some time to load, but I guess it should work. all right there you go it worked so in order to okay so once you're done with it uh, make sure you disconnect mg graph because uh yeah so make sure you uh, disconnect this mg graph because then the session is open uh, you need to close the session all right so once you're done uh, you can verify it so let me just open my graph explorer and check the higher date okay Uh, aka dot ms forward slash ge so this was the simple script uh we're using which you can uh, update the higher date of the employees uh if you want to you know update any other details you just need to put that detail into the param section and uh, the user would be updated accordingly the details that you would add so let's test the higher date quickly uh, let me sign in into my graph explorer right it is there you go and it is the higher date i guess okay let me list the users first and check whether this is allowed okay and let me check if the higher date is uh, displayed or not Okay, higher data is not displayed. 
so I can use me slash higher date okay okay so this is showing uh, the sign in users higher date we need to check the Adelaide's higher date employee higher date okay uh, probably it will display same thing okay employee higher date is null the higher higher date is what we need okay so this is showing for the sign in user we need to sign in as Adelaide to get it let's sign in for Adelaide and get this verified uh, let's sign in again and let's do this all right it should sign us in there you go okay so the higher date here specified is 1 12 2009 and it should display as the same date um system date time dot pass is 1 12 2009 so 2009 is correct and 30 okay so it took the system date time and uh, i think it took the previous month so 11 30 is the previous date so it adjusted according to my date time okay so this is what it is uh if you want to you know uh, change it according to your date let's let's change it again and see let's put this 2011 let's connect with microsoft graph again and run this as a whole okay let me just rerun the powershell okay and there you go powershell is up and running there you go i'll just run the script at once it will ask me to sign in again mm. okay there we see the sign in prompt all right There you go it should update the date to 2011 hopefully this time we'll be able to do it and looks like it is done okay so there you go 2011 11 and 30 so it is fine that the system date time uh, it is taking according to the system date time and it is updating one day before so here it was 12th month, uh, first, first of 12th month, and it is taking the previous day. So that's what it is. Okay. So con congratulations. Now, now you can update your employees' higher date. Uh, you are now ready to, you know, start <laughs> using the graph SDK using PowerShell. All right. Feel free to reach out uh, to our team uh, to get any more details okay and uh, if you come across any other questions or idea that you would like me to cover please feel to feel free to comment down below and i'll be happy to cover them those thank you bye, -bye. until next one